Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome for the very first time to the Demo of Drone, a game which I announced and covered a very long time ago once it was doing its first few trailers. And now, finally, to a select few content creators, we can have a look at the first demo. Now, a public demo will be released, hopefully by the end of January, at least that's what I've been told. That may be incorrect, but either way, there will be a public demo coming coming somewhat soon, which I think a lot of us are very much looking forward to, which will add even more to the current build. So right now, there is very little to do outside of the recording mode, which is actually really good, and the build mode, in which we can edit our own arenas. So this is one of the built-in arenas, as you can see, it's just a desolate desert with a bit of life, so maybe not quite as desolate as I wanted to say. It's a bit of a mountain range, there's rocks, there's sparse trees in the middle, and that's pretty much it. But then, we have utter power in this world. As you can imagine, for any map creator, there are a lot of options. Now, I will say, this is actually one of the better map creators I've played in a very, very long time. There are a lot of options, and honestly, it's not difficult to make something look completely unique as you want it to, which I'm very, very happy with. So you have loads of options, you can put down canyons, mountains, hills, you can smooth things as you honestly can imagine, you can billow things, there's a lot of things you can do to make a world completely your own. But on top of this, you can indeed edit the terrain itself in a more um, roundabout way by simply editing the environment. So we can add a bit more weather by increasing the weather condition here which actually makes it worse, so I guess I should say decreasing the weather condition, you can see we can pretty much no longer see at all, which I do kind of love. Now, the reason why I even want to bring up all of this is because all of this will be available in the full game when it's released, but most importantly, things like the weather condition... I've been told, will actually make a difference to how your drones work. So when it's colder outside, let's just freeze the world a bit here, your drones will struggle to create heat. When there's strong winds, it will slow down your drone in some directions, kind of throw them about a bit, and you can even add lightning if you so desire. So already I'm sort of making a frozen hellscape, which, you know what? I'm completely okay with that. And honestly, I think that looks really, really cool. Back to just normal rain. I will say, the snow looks a little bit shiny for me, but other than that, everything looks really great this early in the development cycle. So just with a few simple changes, the map looks completely different and honestly, far, far scarier. So let's have a quick look-see. Maybe not in this mode. Maybe let's turn down the rain again. Let's put it all back to normal, there we go, so we can actually see what we're doing, back to the lovely desert we were in originally. We do have a couple of drones we can already take a look at. Now so far there is a difference in their speed and how they handle, but that's pretty much it. They also have a different amount of weapons, but right now you can't destroy the drones, they can't take damage, and so, well... It's a bit difficult to tell how they're all going to act, and of course the drones will be customizable once the game is fully out. So, again, it's not exactly representative of the full release. And then we get into the dark versions with the lovely red lights, which I absolutely adore, and my all-time favourite, this fellow. Just look at that. That looks so remarkably evil, and I adore it. We also have first-person mode, as you can see, and... Lovely, lovely missiles. Lots of terrain devastation there. Rocks being moved around. Some objects seem to be physics active. I forgot the word there. You can move them around and it's honestly quite good. Dynamic is the word I was looking for there. And a few of them are less so. If you go to a map which has more greenery, especially with just grass, you can actually see the grass burn if you get too close to it or if you simply shoot at it, which I am a massive, massive fan of. Now, I think there are actually a couple more drones to show off. There we are, which looks very Star Wars, I've got to say. 
We have this little fellow, which I believe is the fastest in the game. I might be wrong there, but I think this little guy is the fastest. Though I could be very, very much mistaken. And then back to the regular, except for now it's got a lovely paint of camo. Which is lovely. Up next, then, is the recording mode. Now, this is something I wish I was better at, but a few YouTubers have already made some truly fantastic footage using this mode. It's essentially a piece of equipment which will allow you to go ahead and make your own cinematics. And it's really good and really simple, which is normally a good combo. So, to put it simply, we can have our little drone here. We can start recording it, so here we are. I always lose frames when I'm recording, and then I'm also recording the game using the inbuilt software, so I do apologise if the FPS is a bit low right now, it's just to be expected, and let's just dodge that tree, I think that would be helpful. I do actually love how the drones handle. As someone who actually has a drone in real life, it's actually somewhat accurate, and I was surprised by that. Especially when it comes to how heavy the thing can feel sometimes. Okay, there we are. So we've got that. So we have the little drone recorded here doing its thing. And then if we would like to, we could add a secondary drone. Uh, let's just put it over here. This will be a mean, evil one who wishes to kill him because isn't it more fun when there's conflict? Uh, let's go with... you. With a weird halo effect, I think that's a bug, honestly. It certainly seems like it. Did not mean to do that, as you can imagine. So I just quickly attacked this drone using the other, and this is how it looks in the actual footage. So as you can imagine, there is a lot of room for possibility here. Since even this, I think actually looks pretty cool, and this took me two minutes, and I am terrible at this. Especially when it comes to cameramanship. Now when it's doing this, we can set up different camera angles, we can go into first person, do all sorts of things if we choose to, but this is just a basic example of what this is. I think this video is more just a showcase of, oh look, there's a demo, and then I'll post some serious stuff later on, in which I just show off what I've been doing. Building an arena, for instance, with time lapses is something I am desperate to do. So actually, let's go ahead and do that next. Did not mean to start the recording there. Still getting used to the controls, by the way. They can be a little bit difficult to understand, at least if you're a bit derpy like me. So, which one is the basic one? Well, this was the basic one. Let's just restart it. But before we go ahead and restart the world, just so I can showcase the different building elements of this game... Yeah, this is an inbuilt map, and this is something you can entirely build yourself already. Which is why I am so excited for Drone. With the maps being so customizable, with so many creative people in this type of genre, I cannot wait to see the different arenas that are going to be made by people. Now, I am not the most creative person. I am not the best at building things, especially when it comes to map design or even just little bits of cinematic footage. But really... This just looks amazing, and I can't wait to see all of the different things that can be built. Also, this does showcase one thing, which is, why would you ever go down the route of having one of these smaller drones, rather than one of the larger ones? Well, this lovely large fellow here is going to have a very tough time getting through doors like this, for instance. Now, it's also slower and less agile, of course, which is a big deal, but, yeah... With maps being able to be built essentially entirely indoors if you want. You can make an entire map one indoors complex. It's going to be awesome. Did I mention I'm really looking forward to this game? For handling, I honestly think this is my favourite drone. It just stops so quickly and it's so agile. It's not the fastest, but it is fun. I don't think it's the fastest. No, this one's only going 40, 50 now, so the one I showcased earlier is definitely faster. Come on, open up. Thank you. You might be wondering why I did that move rather than simply going up and down. It's because I forgot I can just go up and down for a second. Because I'm a derp. Okay, on to a blank canvas. A lovely blank canvas for us to build, and we do indeed have symmetry mode, which is pretty darn handy this early on. So let's just go ahead and put down some flooring, because why not? There we are. 
that's going to be the base of our house. So that's the goal. Let's see if we can just build a really simple multi-floor house with at least one entrance and at least one exit on different levels. If we can do that, then I am happy enough. So straight away, we can go to the next level already and just do this again. And let's have it so instead we do that. So we just have a hole in the middle. That would probably be the easiest way to set this up, I can imagine. Then let's have this one a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, so let's add a ceiling to this just so it's a bit more claustrophobic because wouldn't that be more fun? And fill in the gaps and there we are. So we have this rather derpy looking creation because it's just me and everything's going to be derpy by nature. Then we'll add a door here, make sure that works. It's going to be really dark in there, isn't it, right now? Oh, yes it is. And there we are. Okay, mirror mode is now quickly turned off and let's just add a second floor like that so that way we can go in, go up, and then out of the door. So there's the very basic building done, just essentially the shell. So what can we do with the shell? Well, we have these different types of walkway, which are all just added in the game already. You can rotate them and everything else as you would expect. And we could add a couple here, for instance, if we so desire. And in fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do, just there and there. And now I realize this is probably the most unsafe area in the history of building codes. So what we're going to do is just put down this. And then, is it this one I'm thinking of? No, I want the that one. There we are. So there we go. Now it's all nice and safe. Isn't that lovely? In fact, we could add some here. Then gap there. What's that one? I haven't actually... Ooh, I don't actually know what this is. It's like a metal barring. That's pretty cool. Huh. Yeah, that is pretty cool, actually. Let's just do this all the way around then. So if there's any lovely human visitors, they don't fall off to their death and then we don't get sued. And there we are. They can actually get to the ground now as well, which I think would be pretty handy, all things considered. So next up, we can do some painting. Now, what do we want this to look like? I think we want it to look... That looks really alien. Actually, how do we want this to look? How about nice and clean and clinical? Yeah, let's go with that. Since this is our little test thing, it's going to look completely clinical and dull because that's kind of me as well, honestly. There we are. And there we go. Well, I, was just, I was just about to say, I wonder if we can paint the floor with the same paint tool, and apparently we can, but I don't really want that. How about something which contrasts a bit like that? Or darker, even. Um, hmm. Ah, there's a problem. So that flooring there is actually part of the wall, isn't it? So we can't really do that. Oh, uh, I should have thought of that beforehand. In that case, everything gets to be nice and clinical. Can't paint the stairs themselves, sadly, but sure. Actually, no, I just really don't like that. Let's at least make that an edge. That looks kind of clowny. Well, that'll do. Just nice, simple metal, I suppose. So next, you can add loads of different decals, if you so desire, different sizes, and going full-on Illuminati there, by mistake, which is always a good sign. There we are, a bit of Illuminati for our build. What else can we do? Airlock, we have biohazards, we have all the usual gubbins. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, that looks a bit more physical than the others. Okay. Then we have the different dynamic items, so these are ones which you can, of course, destroy in the world. Now, I don't think you can make different sizes of these, can you? When you place them down, they are as they are, which is a bit of a shame, but understandable. Now, I'm imagining a lot of these will be explosive once the game fully comes out. I'm fairly certain they aren't currently. And, of course, you can add things like this, because who doesn't want beer and all sorts of good stuff around their base? There we are, an accurate depiction of my work desk pretty much every day of the week. Good to know. Do we have a monitor? We do have a monitor. Okay, so now we're sitting that way. Is there any chairs? Doesn't seem like it. But as you can see, there are lots of little things. 
What's that actually meant to be? Is it meant to be whiskey? Yes, it's meant to be whiskey number three, apparently. Okay, so different objects as well. We have billboards. Selling the latest and greatest guns, of course. What else do we have? We have loads of stuff. Ooh, rings, which you could probably make a race course out of. Oh, that would be pretty good. Actually, that would be amazing. What you could do is have a series of these and then race your ghost. Or send it to other people, then they can race the ghost you create to see who can pilot the drone fastest. Again, lots of things which I do want to work work with and simply design, which I will be doing soon. Don't worry, this is not the only video I will be doing the demo. I just wanted to make a quick, oh my god, look, there is a demo out which I can play kind of video. That's cool. So as you can see, lots of stuff I still don't know about. There's all sorts of trees, as you can imagine. These are affected by the wind direction, I believe. So if we go like this, uh, wind direction that way, wind speed, max... Yeah, there we go, moving faster. And I believe the grass sways a little bit as well. As well, Yes, it does. And like I said before, you can burn the grass by simply getting too close to it, or by simply shooting it into oblivion. Which I like. There's something about that I am just a huge fan of. You know something which would be really cool? Making a tunnel through a mountain, and honestly, I doubt that would be too difficult to do. Especially since you can make the mountain, if you wish, out of just regular rocks like this, so we have gaps around it, which would be pretty awesome indeed. Which I've said quite a lot today, apparently. Now, I don't actually clip into the thing. Actually, what would happen if I do? Okay, so it does just fully clip. That's interesting. Try and use as many different shapes as possible. I do like how they clip into each other. That will make life a lot easier. You could really spend hours, couldn't you, making the perfect map with these tools. It would just... It would be a test of patience more than anything else, I believe. Let's go back to the world tool. That looks pretty cool. Makes it look like little rocky outcroppings. I like these the most. Let's put a couple of these up. Then we'll add some rocks in between them in a little bit and smooth them out to make them look a bit more unique. So then, let's see how easy it would be to make a tunnel. Let's see how this works. So it's up all of this a little bit. Maybe it's about that height, just so it's a bit easier. Then, can I make a tunnel connecting that there outwards? Easily, I mean, without having to place things after placing the building. Basically, what I'm asking is, how does the terrain deal with a building being placed? Bit hard to tell, honestly. Ooh, it doesn't seem to be making a gap. Okay. Oh, so this particular one will go all the way down, so we could make it like that. Which... Honestly, would look interesting, but that's not quite what I'm after. I'm sure there is a way of doing it, but clearly this is not the way. <laughs> Still fairly cool, though. And then I suppose you could just build on top of this, using some of the other tools. Actually, what tools, I wonder what would work? So it seems like all of these are affected like that. Is that true? Yes, yeah, so you can't use the terrain tools then to do what I was thinking of. So you would have to use the placeable items then to get that job done. So let's go to the placeable items. There we are. Objects, I should say. And then doing it a lot better than I'm just doing here quickly. We've now got a little bit of a tunnel. Okay, so you can definitely make tunnels and that would look really cool. Going through something like this and then simply adding small rocks to the side, making it look more natural, and going all the way through. That is definitely something I'm going to do. In fact, I think that's the first thing I'm going to do. So I think the first map I want to build is a bit of a racing map, just against myself, so I can test out all the different drone speed and such, with at least one section going through a tunnel. 
Okay, so with that, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's video. I didn't really have much time today, but I really, really wanted to show off this demo. And don't worry, I will be making more videos on the demo, and as the demo updates, I'll be making even more. This is definitely the game I am looking forward to the most in the next year or so. So thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff, helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that drone is something you wish to see continued in the future. Expect a map update very soon. I meant to say expect. Words are not easy when it's 3am. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.